time! Hotmost Prime Reviews! Going Hard Panther! Here comes the latest review by Hotmost Prime! Good day everyone, this is John Bart, Hotmost Prime Reviews, as always wishing you all the very best. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe if you like and enjoy the content I provide, which I thoroughly hope you do. And also feel free to click that little notification bell for latest content. Well, I'm back again this time, thanks to In Demand again. Thanks, guys. Nick and the team, cheers for that. I got my studio series, Brawn. Even though Royal Mail decided to chuck it two doors down when it didn't even look like my address, that wasn't In Demand's fault, because I spoke to Royal Mail. It was them being twits. But hey, accidents happened, and he came. But here we go. So as you can see, this is Brawn absolutely freaking love this guy i mean i have got the titans return one but i haven't got it to hand or else i would have done the scale through the through the versions of him but this is such a good figure i have to say before i start this is the best transformer i have ever owned period it's such a good solid figure hardly any little waffling bits and he's just such a good action quality figure and he's just awesome even with his juggernaut x-men juggernaut style head he looks amazing so as i said i got it from in demand but here we go we're gonna look at the packaging as you can see it says studio series brawn 8 plus hasbro number 80 transformers transformer generation transformers bumblebee takara tomi transformers bumblebee there's a bit there with brawn looking all moody like mm, this is my dating profile nice little autobot insignia there and it's got again like the rest of them do it's got the backdrop which is cybertron falls and as you can see there he is with his drill they gave him that he used in like one episode so they brought the g1 aspect over into this and i like that aesthetic it's really nice and as you can see 18 steps he converts braun helps his autobot allies hold the line against the decepticons before being knocked down by an enemy blast <gasps> and as always it comes strangely enough like the last one it comes with two of the cybertron falls things so do i get it out yeah i'll get it out and show you I don't know why, you know, trying to save the planet Hasbro and you're sending two lots of things, but I suppose it saves the backdrop getting wrecked. As you can see, there's B and all that there, looking really good. So, you know, it just looks awesome. So, again, you can stand him if you've got the shelf space, room space. You could do that. I'm sorry if you can hear anything. That's my child being annoying while I'm trying to record in the background outside the studio. So, kids. But here we go. So, I'm going to move that out of the way. And let's have a look at this handsome fella. So, here we go. Let's get some extra light in on the thing. I mean, look at that blue on the eyes. It just looks... so good you know what i mean it's got like a gunmetal gray metallic silver thing going on there it's got a nice nice proper brawn aesthetic color and it's true it's got a nice gunmetal gray over there you've got the nice details autobot insignia you've got the awesome just look at that noggin he looks awesome the eyes as well no light piping but they've done it well he just is such a solid figure i love it it's my favorite he's got toe pivot he has ankle pivot he can even do waist all the way around like he's been hit like uh, i think ratchet did in transformers one where he got electrocuted by the rails and went spun all the way around he does have double elbow joints he has wrist rotation a bit stiff but he can do it his head can turn and it's on a ball joint but he can't really move much but you don't really need to it's brawn he's tough as boots he can survive everything in the series and then the movie came he got one shot and he was dead what the hell happened there i'm on about the original 86 movie still a classic but what the hell almost looks like he's got like little rockets on his elbow got nice detail there got lovely metallic green on the wheels looks very nice very nice indeed he can do the van damme to that degree but he can't do the full he can do the full forward splits and he does have knee rotation but you know it's just an awesome awesome as i said it's, it's my favorite bot out of my whole collection i've recently just 
removed a lot of the siege uh, fries out of my uh, collection still up on post get rid of it now you know what I mean trying to clear it out for more stuff for the channel because since seeing these I mean I'm not a Bayverse collector but after seeing this bumblebee lot coming out I'm definitely definitely getting all this bumblebee as much as I can even though I don't like the look of sound wave I'm gonna have to get him and ravage his block his crushed block but um yeah because I'm getting a bit too many Autobots now and not enough cons so yeah so there he is there and as we say this is his gun focus there we go got a nice paint job there on his drill thing which he can hold so he could just like shank someone or oh, it's like a metal ice cream you know whatever he wants to do and then you've got a gun which is similar a little I think it's the same gun as what Ratchet's got yeah it is it's just different color but yeah it's nice so it's got some sort of like jet engine on the back of it but it's a nice brownie gray sort of thing but it looks good and it just looks awesome so I'm gonna do some comparisons now with the, the, the little big guy should we say if you didn't see my last review it was of this awesome bot as well studio series ratchet he's a deluxe as well even though he's bigger and then they got this is on my list as well this is the b127 i wish they'd not ripped us off and they just give us the interchangeable faces because i'm so annoyed because they've released the one with bumblebee because if they'd done that i probably would have just got that one but yeah i'm hoping there's like a third party thing out there that'll make it so you can just pop this ball joint off and get another head you know what i mean so you can have one that's interchangeable but you know there's little b the star of the bumblebee movie and then my mechanical alliance i am optimus prime terrible impression but there we go but you know please check out all the reviews for them they are up on the channel i'd more than happy for you to watch them and i hope you'd enjoy them and i'm going to give you a sneak peek of my latest acquisition from smiths i was there picking up something and i saw this for it's not that great i wanted screamer to be fair but I thought, well, I need some cons. So I got this with his useless gun that doesn't stay on his hand for £22. It was from, as I said, because I've sold some of my other stuff off, so freed it up. Voyager Thrust. He is going to be my next review coming in the next week or so. So I hope you'll watch that. So let's get down and dirty. And let's do transformation and I'll come back to you yeah and welcome back everyone as you can see we're back now and he's in his doody little transformed little Cybertronian mode and he just looks fantastic I have to say he doesn't disappoint he delivers in bot mode and he delivers let's turn that off hang on hang on I'm dropping everything here but you know you know it's a school you know the school people you know right as you can see he's like a little armored buggy and he packs up so well i mean just look at the details i mean i'm glad they didn't do like what they did on rodimus and just leave him not painted they went for the extra effort there to paint it and it's lovely just take his gun off a minute i mean you can see visible head syndrome and he's got the autobot symbol showing it to everyone on his ass and he's like Haha, kiss my kiss it kiss it and it's like for some reason they put a hole there so you know you can't drive with that attached to his ass but maybe it's for like a peg you know five mil port thing but as you can see it it does go on there so I mean, can you put it there without it trapping his wheel no it traps his wheel so as i was saying you got here i mean look at that from the front it's got a nice little radiator grill it just looks like an awesome little brawn i love it i love it to bits it's definitely definitely my favorite transformer in my collection now i've just hit my camera he rolls as he should 
and so we should. I mean, just look at that. He rolls across the review table, fantastic, and it's just so smooth. It's just an awesome, solid little bot, and he was, wasn't actually hard to transform. He was enjoyable, apart from that Keats Fauna. But it does also, you know, have nice silvers and nice greens. They all transpire into it, and it does tuck away nicely. That You know, there's visible head there, but when the gun's on, no one's going to be paying but so basically he's effectively looking at his ass but he literally has eyes going hither and everywhere so he's pretty good but as you can see here he has this little port here and you may wonder oh where's the drill you flip that round thus creating the drill mode so the aesthetic for the g1 when they were drilling under and brawn just for that one episode had a drill come out the front so they've kept it on so it's an option that you want to do it's there and as always options are great you know it makes the playability better so and if you don't want it there you can switch it up and put it there if you don't want it there there's a port there you can click it on top and you can have it there again it's just such a good versatile enjoyable little figure you know what i mean he is mighty as brawn is so I'm totally loving this. It's definitely my favorite of the collection. So I think I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's just get on to the final thoughts and I hope you'll join me. Yeah. And welcome back everyone. Hope you've enjoyed that. Now it's time for my final thoughts. Well, as you can see, it's as I've said, it's an amazing bot. I'm definitely gonna have to pick up the Siege Voyager Soundwave and his little crush box, Ratchet, uh, Ram, Ravage, God, dear God, sorry. It's been one of those weeks I've had issues with my car and everything, so it's been stressful. I'm um, definitely going to pick up the Wheeljack and the RC and that when they come out. Definitely on for that. And as I've said, he's an amazing bot. He's my favourite in my collection. I love the fact that everything he has, like the little Dot Martin boots. I love the fact he's a tough little chunky guy. There's hardly any waffling. And the colour scheme is true to the G1 aesthetic. He's an amazing articulated action figure. Well built. I love him to bits. And I love his quirky Cybertronian mode. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm not going to waffle on like I normally do. I'm just going to get straight to it and say, this has been John Bot Hobmer's Prime Review, reviewing this Transformers Bumblebee Studio Series number 80 Brawn Deluxe Class figure. I got him from In-Demand Toys. Please check them out. There are other stockists available, but these guys are my go-to usually now. They're spot on. So this has been John Bot Hobmer's Prime Review saying thanks for coming. Please take care. Please come and watch again. As I say, please feel free to check out all the other Bumblebee characters that I've reviewed in the playlist. And as I said, the Voyager Thrust review is incoming, as well as my new Mandalorian vintage collection figure review, and also another Sonic the Hedgehog review. So please stay tuned for those in the coming weeks. Thanks again. Take care. See you next time. Till all toy lovers are one. Scooby-Doo. <laughs>